Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. Today's objective for this episode is to build a mining ship. And for that I've been busy off screen and I've been busy refining materials and whatnot so I'll just uh, go through some of the things. I've refined a whole bunch of uh, material that's in here as well as in our assembler in case we need anything else but I also have refined some more uranium so that gives us if I'm not mistaken 10 hours of uh, life on this craft so that's pretty nice and now I've been busy down on the station too I didn't really finish much on the station however I did complete two of these extra containers so in one of these containers we're gonna have all of our parts which I've created quite a few of and it should be enough for our craft that we're going to be making and in here we're gonna have just our unrefined materials and for future episodes in here is where we're going to put our guns and ammunition so all right let's uh let's get started so first thing that we need is we need our cockpit Let's see, our cockpit, we need some glass, computers, displays, motors, construction components, interior, plates, and I'm guessing we're probably going to be making this out of uh, light armor blocks. Heavy armor blocks, although they are nicer, I don't expect that we're going to be shot at, especially considering it's a mining vessel, so I guess we'll go in here, we'll take some computers, some motors some displays, some bulletproof glass, and I think we needed some assembling, or yeah, what are these? Construction components. Oh, apparently I can't take any. Oh, never mind, we can. There we go. Well, we don't need 12 motors, so I'll, uh, let's tone this back to four. And we'll take some steel plates, because we're going to need that as well. All right. I'm going to... Well, we should uh, get free of the gravity field so nothing falls. There we go. That's ought to be far enough away. And let's make a new small ship. Hmm. I guess we have to start with a little landing gear. Well, this will orient us correctly then. Let's see here. We want... Gotta put one of these blocks down. There we go. And now let's go and put down our cockpit. I think we might... Uh, take away the landing gear because I don't think we're gonna need it let's see here need interior plate okay so um I'll get back to that in a little bit then we don't need to put the cockpit down quite yet there we go now we need a reactor probably gonna make two reactors one gyroscope um, a couple of thrusters, probably only s seven. We're gonna have one in each cardinal direction, and then we're gonna have uh, an extra one going backwards to give us a little bit more thrust. So, let's see here. Let's uh, rotate this. And we'll get our gyroscope. And we'll put down a second reactor. And I also do have some uranium pellets down in the mining base so that we can fuel this thing right away. Right, there we go. And we're also going to want the drill, but we're going to put that on after we put the cockpit on. Let's see here now. We're going to want to put on the... Hmm, let's, uh... Can we take away the landing gear? No, we can't. Let's see. Let's put the two rockets. Oh. Needs 
need uh, large steel tubes for that. So, in fact, you know what? Instead of just building this slowly on screen, I'll just do a quick little montage of us uh, quickly putting this uh, craft together. So, enjoy! And as you see, we had a close encounter with our ship almost flying away, because I bumped into it. But now we should have a flying ship. Let me make sure I don't uh, damage it right off the bat. We still have to finish the uh, still have to finish the drill on it, and we still have to finish the second reactor. The second reactor will certainly come into play when we use the drill, but right now. It doesn't. And we do have to put two more thrusters on it as well. We're probably going to put some storage on it too. Oh, uh, zero my velocity because I don't have all my thrusters on here yet. Just do a little twirl like this and that ought to do it. There we go. Alright, then the two more thrusters that we need go oops like hmm so we still need to access the power plant so we want to have these kind of recessed in here so we'll put one there and the other one right there and I do believe we have enough parts to finish that and I have some parts being made to help finish the second reactor don't think I made enough computers, but there should be enough shortly. Yeah, we'll need a couple more, too. Meh. Let's make a whole bunch more. I'm sure we'll use them eventually. Okay. Let's see here. Turn on our jetpack. 
And let's see, what do we need to finish these? I don't know. I don't think we have everything. We don't think we have everything on us that we need to finish them, but actually, we might. Well, that would be pretty handy. It certainly isn't the best looking ship, but uh, when it takes this long to gather resources, sometimes you gotta build what you gotta build. Certainly not my best design ever, but eh, it'll do the job. So we need one more steel plate, and then we'll get the computers that are being made. And then uh, we'll finish the drill, and then that'll be it for this ship, at least. Alright, let's see. Has the assembler finished our products yet? It has. Awesome. Come here. There we go. Now we need... What else do we need? Let's see. What does it take to make a drill? We need a computer, one motor, large steel tubes, small teal steel tubes, and lots of uh, steel plates. Okay then. That's right. We need some steel plates anyways. So we'll grab some of those. We have some large steel tubes on us. So then we'll take some whoops, small steel tubes. Oh, that's a girder. We want this. Don't need that. Small steel tubes. I think how many? We only needed, uh, I think it was like one or two of these. So, whoops, we'll, uh, we'll take three of those back. So we can take more of these steel tubes and some motors. Hopefully that'll be enough. Alrighty then. Let's see here, we should be able to finish our reactor. And then we'll uh, split the uranium between the two so we have uh, twice as much power. Almost there, and eh, good enough. Now, where are we gonna put the the drill? Because we don't want it to completely obscure our vision. So, hmm. We'll drag this into our hot bar first, so we can figure where we're gonna put it. You know what? Uh, that might actually work. Alright, and uh... Let's see here, do we want to put any of these small cargo con- I think we'll put a couple small cargo containers on here too, because that will uh... help increase our uh, cargo capacity so we don't have to quickly unload it so we can have a larger mining adventure. Whoops, don't want to turn off my jetpack. So, I think I'll do another quick montage of me trying to finish this, and I'll meet back with you guys in a little bit.
All right, then we're back, and as you can see, I decided to add a couple of extra parts on it, like the lights and these little parts up here. I didn't add them because they looked nice. I add them because uh, I didn't want to accidentally destroy any of my engines, and I'd rather have it destroy one of these angle blocks instead. So I kind of created it as a, as a buffer zone in between my vital components and, uh, and the wall that it will inevitably run into, so... Uh oh, I oh nope, never mind. It said that I needed some more energy, but I hopped in here and it looks like we're fine. And we have seven days of fuel time, or five hours if we're mining. Well, not necessarily. Let's turn on the drill and see how long we actually have when we mine. I suppose we ought to test this thing out. And after all, we took so long building it. Let's see, we might as well mine some of this stuff. Okay, so it doesn't look like it sucks up that much energy. Let's see if it does a good job at uh, mining. Oh dear, might need to put an extra. Uh, might need to put an extra gyroscope on this because it does like to fly around a little bit, or maybe just extra engines would help. Well, it seems to be doing all right right now. Well, let's take a look and see how much stuff we can harvest. Because uh, making a hole like that used to take a uh, good ten minutes with a jackhammer, and that just took a couple seconds. So let's see how much uh, iron we got from that. So we'll go over to our little drill thing and... 1.39k. That's actually pretty good. That's uh, about two to three loads of uh, doing it with a jackhammer, and that would take just a couple minutes with uh, with a jackhammer, and it took just a couple seconds with this thing, so that is pretty awesome. I'm liking it a lot. I also might need to put some more uh, cargo containers on there, because it looks like they fill up pretty darn quick. Yeah, they only have 125 liters of space. I wonder how big the drill has, or how much space it has. Oh, it has a lot of space. Awesome. All right. Well, that was a successful build, I would say. So next episode, I think we're going to focus on making this uh, platform up and running. We're going to get the, uh, the gravity generator and the small reactor up and running, and maybe even we'll get one of the refineries and maybe even one of the assemblers running. I don't think we're going to be able to get the medical room running, but uh, we'll see if we can get as much of that done as we can next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.